What's up, Fox Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Fox Plays with your host, Fox, aka Alex, playing Pun Kapu. So I just skipped the beginning cinematic because um, I don't know what the audience is like, so I, I, I'm the kind of guy that. Let, let's get to the action. I watch it myself, but if you guys want to watch it, there's, I think there's. And you can look it up, I guess. Um, but yeah, look, I'm wearing a suit again, so no more pajamas like my last episode. I was pretty sloppy, wasn't I? You're like, what the hell is Alex doing? He's wearing pajamas. Does he not give a crap? So I'm wearing a suit now just to make up for it. So let's get started. Um, but this actual game came as a recommendation from two people. So Captain John, one of my one of my boys that... I love his map screen. I love map screens, and this map screen looks dope. Alright. We're, we're going to play Sage of Spinning. Um, yeah, this came as a recommendation from Captain John, but also knows one of my other members of the Fox Nation around the clock at games. Uh, he was playing this as well. He, um, I was actually quite watched a few of his videos because he always, um, he always plays the new games and sometimes I don't know if the game's going to be good or not, but he plays them all. So I don't know where he gets his money from, like if he sells drugs on the side, I don't know, you can leave a comment down below if you sell drugs on the side, I'm only joking. Um, but yeah, look, I, you can tell why I picked this game, hold up. Yeah, it's pretty obvious why I picked this game. Um, look at the graphics, like done, sold, like no, no, I didn't even have to think about it, like Captain John sends me this game. No, sorry, he, tells, he goes, hey, Alex, check out this game. I'm like, instantaneous, I knew I would play it. You just know. You just know when there's that game. You just you just instantly play it. Oh, here we go. Uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, I just it looks freaking gorgeous. And I watched some Around the Clock games play it as well, just briefly before I, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I've definitely got to play this. So, it seems to be about... Get out of here, you filthy monster. I just hope this game has epic boss fights. And I'm a bit closer to my microphone this time, because my last video actually wasn't... I, I watched it again, and I, I wasn't happy with my... I was a bit tired of that video, but also my voice was just, like, super low. So, just in case it sounds crap again, I'm just going to be nice and close to the mic, so you guys can hear my booming voice. And I might talk in my low monotone. So, but anyway... This game looks sick. I want to play it. It looks sick. I'm going to say the word sick a lot because I, I can't describe anything else. Hopefully this game plays alright as well. Um, so far... So far these enemies are a bit boring. Not going to lie. Just these black slimes. Nothing looks cool so far. I want to see some cool enemies. This game kind of reminds me of um, uh, Dust, the Elysian Tale. Very similar art style to that. Also along with the original Rayman on PlayStation. Not Rayman Legends and Origins. I find the color schemes quite... Oh, shit. I find that the color schemes quite different to this. So this one's a bit more... I don't know. It's quite detailed, actually. And the colors are so bright. It's actually like... Oh, sh... She... Alright, wait here. Okay, now that I got past that, because I'm... Oh, here we go. This combat is pretty simple. Alright, uh, hopefully the game gets a little bit... A little bit harder. Do I collect everything? Oh, okay, so this... Okay, alright. So this level might have a gem and a thing. Alright. But, you know, it's just good to play games and map screens again. I miss it. Um, don't worry, guys. Though, I am going to finish Diary of a Junkyard Spaceport. Whatever it was that game is called. I forgot the game's called. Diaries of a Spaceport Junkie. Junkie, Jesus Christ. That would have grown. <laughs> Imagine there was a... You know, I don't even think... You know what? Uh, all my games are playing indie games, right? And play audience at home, if you guys can let me know, please, please, please. Have you guys ever played a game where you play as a drug addict? And I'm not talking about, like... Because technically, Max Payne 3, morphine is health. So technically, you could say he's addicted to morphine to get his health back. If you guys want to count that, I personally wouldn't count that because I guess the more things health. I'm just trying to think of a game where you're addicted to drugs, and that's the story. I'm not talking about Fallout because I know you can use drugs as a, you know, to get your power ups and that. I'm talking more like, like I don't know, maybe you play as like a junkie and you've got to, I don't know, like a reverse Grand Theft Auto where you got to like steal money to buy drugs or something, or, or maybe like an indie game showing the 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 bad side of addiction. That'd be pretty. That'd actually be a pretty cool game. I don't think I've ever seen anything, because I've seen games dealing with suicide. Huh. 
I don't know if you, got, if you guys can think of an awesome game that would that would suit that model. I, I think it'd be it'd be an awesome game to. Because you, I, that's what I like about games. Sometimes, because I guess when you watch a movie, you don't get to be the person, right? So, to enter press up. Um, so that's what's cool about games is that you get to be the person in question, and like I guess you go, oh well, whatever. But like that game. Uh, what's it called? Sun... I think it's called Sunlight. The one that deals with suicide. And there's another game that deals with suicide called... Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. And I find it... Like, it was really... Like, I, I look, I don't... Like, we've... Most people have had suicidal thoughts in their lives. But what I want to say is that that game... I guess if you're a person that wasn't very... I don't know, they didn't understand. Like, you know, what, what their family was going through. Or, I don't know, what, what was... You know, you know what was... Or their family was going through or whatever... It, it kind of like put you in their shoes a little bit so at least you can you can understand them a bit better and I yeah it's it's really cool when they do that with games because you know there's enough there's enough Call of Duty shitty games out there but it's cool oh, what's this a Ferrum's tear she's rarely seen hold up single tear could build for root but fine well let's go back to the bud to see if the legend is true don't know what that means. This game is about drugs. I'm going back to the bird. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's cool about games is that you can often do something you can't do in a movie of putting yourself in someone else's perspective. Because I guess with a movie, you're 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 reliant on the actor to you know portray the role, and then you I guess you I guess you fit in with the character, so you go, oh yeah, you know this makes sense. Whereas like a game, you actual play as it, so it's bit, it's more easier to connect with the person in that way. So that's what's cool about games. Um, plus, plus that you get to do what you want to do sometimes, and not live by the crappy world's rules. But yeah, that's that's what I want to say is, yeah, if you guys know a game where you play as a drug addict, let me know. Man, I should be talking about this game. This game's like bright and colorful in here. I'm sure there's gonna be some kid playing this. Gonna be like, oh, mommy, daddy, this game is cool. And they're gonna watch me, Fox plays, just talking about drug use and that. Uh, and they're gonna be like, this, oh, look at these these people on YouTube. They're all poisonous and whatever. All right, let's kill these little jelly things. But so far, music's calm. Nothing exciting yet. But super, super nice. Super clean. Oh, okay, I was meant to go there, so I can get... Da -da -da -da. Alright, see what's happened. His new advice, I love these comic books cutscenes, though. On the bud. Put the, I bet he put it on the bud. Imagine his surprise when the bud began to twist and I just can't take that word seriously. Keep saying people saying bud. She hadn't lied. Coming across this magic spider had been a stroke of good... Alright, cool. Yeah, I just hope the boss there's epic freaking boss fights in this. And apparently this oh what's this? By collecting four of them? Cool. Alright, so a heart container. Got it. It's crazy how how much Zelda has really inspired other games out there. Alright. I like how the checkpoint though fully restores your health. So far this game does seem a little bit easy. So, it, you know what? I recommend this to people. I guess well, I'm only start, still at the beginning of the game. So this game could get freaking Dark Souls difficult. We don't know. But what I'm saying is that, yeah, for people who aren't good at games or, you know, consider themselves beginners without that sweet de dexterity required for some games, definitely give this game a shot. Oh my god, shit. I picked the worst time to drop down there. And I want to ask the audience at home, what have you guys been up to? And because I've been putting up a few videos this week. I know some of my videos have got good views and other videos have got bad views. And because I put up Streets of Rage, uh, one of my favorite games on the Sega Mega Drive. I'm, I'm, I've always been a Nintendo person back in the day, but you know, I give props to Streets of Rage. That game is awesome. And not many views. Spaceport Junkyard got, got some for that. Hold up. Can I go to the left? No, I can. Alright. 
Yeah, and then um, a diary is a space port junkie. I know it's. Oh, hold on, I need to get to. So I was just wondering, yeah, if you guys have checked it out. If you haven't, that's fair enough. Or like, you know, what's your reason? Because I that's the main thing. Like, I you know me, I always ask you guys for your feedback, just so I know I'm doing the right thing. Because you know, it's good to see results, and I notice my audience retention's gone up, and I've gotten a few more random subscribers as well, which is pretty, which is always nice. But yeah, like I just want to make sure I'm entertaining you guys, and if you don't like my game selection, why? Or if you want to play something, if you want me to play something different, um, well, depends what it is. If you want me to play Call of Duty, yeah, you got, you're on the wrong channel. Let's just say that I'm not playing that game ever again. No, sorry, ever. I've played it once. No, wait, how many times have I played that game? I don't know. They're so forgettable. I just don't remember because that's how forgettable the game is. But what have we got here? Yeah, so just want to make sure that you guys are being entertained. You know me, I'm always super honest. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. And I know you've, I've, I've, I've got a few suggestions to play other games as well, but either they don't suit me or I just haven't had time because uh, the main, the most important thing is i got to play what I want to play. Because if I don't play what I want to play, then I'm just going to play... Come on, there's got to be a secret here. Come on. If, you know, I gotta play what I want to play, cause, cause then if I if I play something I don't enjoy, then it's gonna be hard for me to do a commentary for it. That's like um that game, uh, what was it, the bartending game? I forgot what it was called Valhalla. I liked the game, and it was fun to play, but it was too hard to make a video for it. it I was really struggling, and um, so I was I I gave up on that. I'll, I'll maybe one day I might revisit it or like finish because I still haven't finished it myself. I actually want to know the ending. <laughs> You've, what what could the ending be for a game about a bartending? Like what could it what could it possibly be? I get a feeling she finds love. So if anyone knows, don't spoil it for me because I, I will eventually finish it. Now come with secrets. As if there's no freaking secrets there. Come on. Can you hear weeping, Punkapu? I really don't like the name though. Sorry about the name, but not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, it's Ohiti. Is that you, Chi? What's these names? They destroyed my house, my Mundarin friends. But look here, it's a dream keeper. Took my, so they took their job. They took their job. All right. Mundarin, let's just say, yep. Yeah. So you guys, you know me. I like to. I can't read it out loud. I'm just. I read quicker than what the game says. All right, done. So he's unhappy. That's fair enough. His family's been kidnapped. I'd be unhappy too. If that happened to my family. So there's a crystal here, but I can't do anything. That's no problem. And actually, I want to ask the audience at home. Oh shit! What uh, what games have you been playing, actually? Because I always like to know, just, you know, see what's up, see what's up. If there's anything you're looking forward to as all coming out. Um, personally, you guys know, if you know who Alex is, you know exactly what I'm looking for. And it runs with Dark Souls. It was, I just gave the answer away. I, I'm waiting for the Dark Souls DLC. I cannot freaking wait for it. And um, I still haven't actually played the Bloodborne DLC as well. I've actually been saving that for like a special... For a special day, because I know once. What's this? Oh, there's map screen music. It's actually really peaceful. So there's items to collect in each level, and you know me. I got. I got. I'm. I'm gonna get 100% this game. And actually, tell you the truth though, I've noticed one thing about this game. This game looks gorgeous, right? You think? It looks kind of popular, like something that would, you know, get a lot of exposure. Believe it or not, because there's been a few. I have a few. They're my rivals, I guess, my rival channels. Even though technically I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm, sh I'm small game. There's a few um indie. I know there's a few channels on YouTube as well that that focus on playing indie games or games on Steam. Um, just the small. Oh my god! I just hit myself freaking. Whoops! That was my first time I died. There's a few, um, I call them my rivals, the ones that make similar videos to me, uh, as in like they focus on playing indie games 
And um, I know every time I go, oh, this indie game looks cool. I can't wait to play it. I bet you I'm going to be first. And no, I'm never ever first. So, like, there's, I always find that the mid, the mid-tier indie games, they always cover them. And I'm just like, alright. And then I saw this game, like, oh, surely they, you know, what's his name? Wonderbots, and, uh, actually, what I want to ask the audience at home, do you guys watch, like, I, I know I play indie games and that, but do you guys watch the other YouTubers out there, the ones that focus on indie games? Not, like, the bigger ones, like, obviously, because sometimes I know Markiplier sometimes plays indie game and that, but not very often. But I'm talking about, like, the mid guy, the mid tier guys, are like on twenty, you know, twenty thousand, fifty thousand subs. Do you guys watch them? And I guess what do you like about them? And I guess or what don't you like about them? Is that is that a reason why you watch my videos instead? Because you prefer me, or, or I don't know. They don't give you, I don't know. They don't they don't play the games you like, or the audience participation. I don't know. I don't know. I've told you the truth. I barely ever watch. I don't really have time to watch other people's videos. Like I literally only watch. So, if Angry Video Game Nerd puts up a video, I always watch that. Um, I used to watch Game Grumps a lot, but not anymore. I just don't have time, because they freaking put f four episodes a day. And I just don't have time. Like, I barely watch TV in the first place, so... Um, my fans, like, my fans that, that release videos, I, I watch most of their videos. Because I always like, like to support this, you know, my community and that. You, you guys know me. Like, I like to help people out um, in, in, I guess lesser situation so what i'm saying is you know people you know all the all of the you know support the small youtube channels to help them grow because it's a it's it's a hard job not, not sorry not a hard job it's just hard to get exposure it's, it's like this freaking bat i was about to drop an f-bomb there but not yet not yet come on oh my god this fucking bat i had to i had to he's pissing me off and it looks like a Crappy cro Oh my god, there's platforming here. And I can only get hit once. Alright, at least he's dead. At least he's dead. Alright, we can move on our lives. We can move on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a checkpoint there. Thank freaking hell. Oh. Alright, go climb, 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 climb. Do, 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 do. Ah, secret. Where am I? How's there no secrets from doing this? I've gone through so many, like, hidden walls, hidden grasses behind the wall and stuff, and I've still never gotten, like, any secrets. I don't get it. What have I done wrong? And, um, yeah, you guys know I've done, like, collabs with some of my fans as well, because my fans are awesome, man. They're all... The reason why I do collabs with people, um, I just, like... Because some of them, I've, I don't consider them fans anymore. I've, they've crossed that line to that friend line. The friend line. Friends. I love her. And, you know, I love playing games with my friends. And, like, even though I do play a lot of single-player games, so I guess it's a bit difficult to make videos with my friends... It's still just the experience of playing something with a... Like, don't you remember the days, I don't know, when you were younger? Um, I guess, like, playing... Oh, wait, hold up. No secret? There's no secret. Are you kidding me? There's... Why is there no secrets? These crystals... Oh, okay. Be careful when you walk across. That's fine. Oh. Alright, I, I expected him to crack. I didn't expect him to fall apart straight away. Okay. Yay, alright. Wicked. Yeah, oh, sorry, I, I'm, I just, I was talking and then I just stopped talking, didn't I? I did that thing again, like I always do. Um, but yeah, what, what, there's so many like cool, you know, I love playing games with my friends and, oh my, 
God damn it. Like, I want to make sure, you know, I get to not just play the games by myself, but just get to, you know, play with my friends, just so we can share the moment together. And, um, you know, because so, I don't, yeah, I don't really play multiplayer games that much, except for Dota 2, which I've started playing again, unfortunately. Uh... But yeah, I'm, I'm going to end this video soon. I'm just going to finish this level and leave it there. Ooh, crystals. But this game, I'm definitely going to finish. And don't worry, guys. If you've been watching Super Jaguar, I'm going to finish that. And what's the other game I'm playing? Diaries of the Spaceport Janitor. I need to figure out how to finish that game. But I'm going to finish that game too. I, I love them. I'm, I'm actually been really enjoying the games I've been playing recently. So it's been it's actually been really good. Oh, there's a... Okay, these... Yeah, there are 100 per chapter, and for every 25, you get a Lunatite. Hope will be reborn. Okay, so I need to collect 100. That's fine enough. Let's go back to Ohiti now. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go back. Oh, I missed out three collectibles. 16. Okay. Guys, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. What do you think of the game? Also, give the video a like and a share. And if you stuck around this far, thanks so much for watching. You know how much I really appreciate that. It really, it means, it really means a lot to me. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.